Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Alex and I were in Hobby Lobby the other day, and we saw the Estes Mercury Redstone Rocket Kit. Well, I decided that I could make my own. So I did. Let me show you how I made a flight-capable desktop display from scratch. I started off by creating my own solid models from drawings that I found online. Then I printed everything except the body tube on the CraftBot Plus. The parts were designed with what I'd call practical fidelity. The capsule has all little indentations all over it and depressions for the hatch in the window. I didn't want to use support on the LES tower and it turns out that it was a little bit too far to bridge so I had to go back with a soldering iron and clean that up. The main components for the launch escape system were printed separately. The fin section took the longest and was the largest part. I think it was about an hour and 45 minutes and it's sized for a D motor initially. I had set up equations in SOLIDWORKS to scale these parts based on the size of the tube that I had available. And the scale worked out to be about 1 in 33, which is a little bit arbitrary, but it's a nice 6x from my 1 to 200 scale redstone over here. Here are all the capsule components fresh off the printer. You can see the launch tower stray filaments have been melted back into place. And now just a bit of paint and assembly. The body tube ID that I was using was 1.94, but it was quite heavy, and so I decided to make my own body tube for the actual flight version. I started by making my own mandrel by thickening up some PVC pipe with several layers of tape to 1.94 inches, so that it would fit on my printed parts. Then I cut many 2-inch strips of paper while listening to my disco playlist, and I wrapped them and glued them on the mandrel. I have a couple of videos about designing and wrapping your own spiral tubes, uh, so check out the links at the end of the video for those. After five layers of paper, I was satisfied and pulled my new body tube off my mandrel. Comparing the two tubes, my initial tube I planned on using was 72 grams, and my new tube is only 28 grams. Awesome! The body tube is decorated with another layer of paper that I designed in Adobe Illustrator. I didn't want to paint a checkered pattern by hand, and this worked out quite nicely. The fins are sized for a D motor, and here's how it will work. Not actually with this motor, obviously, but it just slips in and this little widget just screws right on and keeps the motor in place. This little spacecraft adapter has three little clips to hold the capsule in place until the ejection charge fires. I didn't include retro rockets because they're not there when the capsule is recovered. I'm very pleased with how this simple paper and plastic model turned out with very little effort. It looks huge from low and close. Now that the model is done, it's time to balance it and add all the flight hardware. I have a couple of videos on calculating centers of gravity and pressure, so definitely check those out as well before you build your own rocket. And that's how I made a flight capable Mercury Redstone model from scratch. The next video will be the flight test. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.